All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying the California Shad Fly number nine. This fly is part of the Pfeiffer collection. <clears throat> in the vise, I have a size four Mustad 34007. I'm going to be tying this fly with Danville's flat wax nylon and a orange. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and start right behind my eye and lay down a base of thread. And then what I want to do is come down about a third of the way. and then snip away the excess and I'm going to tie in a bead chain eye however um, kind of atypical of most patterns you're actually tying in the bead chain on the underside of the hook um, so the inside towards the hook bend seems a little counterintuitive but that's what the pattern calls for Alright, once we have the bead chain on, I'm going to go ahead and tie in a tail. And I'm going to be using some orange kip tail for this. I'm going to go ahead and clip off a section of kip tail. Pull out any of the fluff. Grab it by the tips and pull out any of the short hairs. And then you want this to be about the same length as the body. So I'm going to measure that and then trim it to size. And then go ahead and tie it in behind the bead chain eyes and advance your thread back to the barb. For the body, I'm going to be using some medium silver tinsel. I'm going to tie that in at the butt of the fly. But I'm going to leave enough uh, of a tag to come up right behind our bead chain eye. And that'll just have, uh, help with the more consistent width body. I'm going to use some touching wraps here and advance our thread back to the eye back to the bead chain eyes. Then I'm, I'm actually going to move my thread in front of the eye and tie a couple half inches. And now I'm just going to use the rotary feature of my vise to help wrap the body. I'm going to go ahead and move my thread back behind the eye and capture our silver tinsel. Go ahead and snip away the excess. And move our thread back forward. <clears throat> For the throat, I'm going to use some saddle hackle barbs, so just some of the webbier barbs that are at the end of, or bottom of the feather, just strip those away. Align the tips, and you want that throat to, to basically touch the hook tip.
That looks about right. And I'll snip away the excess. Flip the fly back over. For the wing, we're going to use some more orange kip tail. And we want the wing to be about the same length as the tail. Pull out some of those short hairs. And capture with their thread. It's about right. We'll tight locking wraps, we'll lift that post up and snip away our excess. We'll just go ahead and build up a head. And whip finish. And that is the California Shadfly number nine.